birds are flying out like endless rain into a paper cup. They slither wildly as they slip away across the universe. I haven't done a very good job with serious videos in the past, especially in my response to John Clayton and my discussions in support of gay marriage. I will freely admit that the latter video had some very ill-informed opinions. But since The Infinite Hope has come out of retirement, and Confused Matthew is tackling a documentary for once, I thought I'd take another shot at discussing a serious issue. This time, I will draw upon what can reasonably be called the facts. In this video, I will disprove creationism. First, let's look back at the Bible. Genesis claims that, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. If you interpret heavens as the cosmos around us, then God created both the earth and the whole universe in a literal interpretation of the Bible. Many young earth creationists believe that the universe was created as recently as 6,000 years ago. Using the speed of light, of all properties, I will demonstrate why young earth creationism couldn't possibly be true. Light travels at about 299,792 kilometers per second. Since light travels at a finite speed, we are essentially looking further back in time as we look deeper into the night sky. Let me explain. When we look at the moon, we are seeing it as it was about 1.28 seconds ago, as it took 1.28 seconds for light from the moon to reach our eyes. When we look at the sun, which I don't advise, we are seeing it as it was about 8.3 minutes ago, as it takes 8.3 minutes for the sun's light to travel the distance to Earth. When we look at Pluto, we're seeing it as it was, on average, around 5.5 hours ago. Distant supernovas may have burned out long ago, but since it took thousands to hundreds of thousands of years for the light to reach us, we can still see the supernova. Think of it as an afterimage caused by the delay of light traveling such astronomical distances. But if we look at the Andromeda Galaxy, which has been measured at 2.5 million light-years from Earth, we are seeing it as it was 2.5 million years ago. Now that is the killing blow for young Earth creationism. Think about it. If the universe were created only 6,000 years ago, then we would not be able to see things more than 6,000 light-years away. This is because the light from anything beyond 6,000 light-years would not have had time to reach us. If the universe were created 6,000 years ago, then the Andromeda galaxy would be invisible to us, as there would not have been nearly enough time for light from the galaxy to reach our eyes. Therefore, we wouldn't be able to see it or know that it exists. In short, the fact that we can see stars and galaxies more than 6,000 light-years away indicates that the universe is more than 6,000 years old, thereby showing us that young Earth creationism is false. I welcome all comments and responses, and look forward to any possible counter-arguments. Thank you for watching. Cheers.